Just a few weeks ago, everyone thought that Russia had figured out how to beat Ukraine in Kharkiv. Russian troops, rumors were saying up to 40,000 or 50,000 Russian troops with armor invaded Ukraine in a different part of the border going towards Kharkiv, destroying villages, destroying Kharkiv itself, the area. It was, it was terrible. And then it was like, well, thank God that the U.S. just supplied $60 billion of U.S. aid. Turns out none of that aid was for there. It was for something else completely. And everyone thought that Russia was uh, going to be Ukraine. They were just going to, after Kharkiv, it was just open fields straight towards Kiev, basically the whole entire Ukraine. There was no more defenses beyond that. It turns out, uh, well, uh, Russia never really had troops and the armor and the wherewithal to actually conquer Kharkiv. It was, a, it was a farce. It was a complete farce from the beginning. But because Ukraine did all that billions of dollars that went was supposed to go to the defenses of Kharkiv region was stolen by the guy that was supposed to do it, Ukraine had to take 20,000 soldiers and armory and all those new fancy weapons they got from the U.S. to Kharkiv to try to defend that because they thought it was going to be an all-out assault. Turns out it wasn't. That was never the goal. And all those 20,000 troops are now in the wrong spot because Russia, where it's centered at for a while already, are starting to slowly break through because those 20,000 troops that were supposed to be guarding that place have been moved. This is going to shock you, but uh, Russia still has officers, commanders, and generals, and military strategists, and it looks like they played Ukraine for a fool. Of course, it's not really going to matter in the long run. The question is, can Ukraine get enough new recruits trained in order to refill those lines uh, right now that's the big question we'll see where this war goes but uh, don't forget that uh, russia is playing the waiting game and as long as it finishes waiting it thinks it'll get something and russia is really good at waiting see you next